I've been painting boats for about 48 years and started with enamels and varnishes and then polyurethanes came into being and um, they were never easy to put on. You always had to really consider it about how you mix them and be mixed exactly right. You couldn't mismeasure or it wouldn't work properly. They were hard to roll and tip. They were okay to spray but not necessarily easy. But if you kept messing with it, you could probably get an okay paint job out of it. But if you got a run or anything in it, you couldn't wet sand it and buff it because it just wasn't made that way. Basically up above where they're, where they're masking now has been sanded with 220 to 280 to get it down to a profile where paint will adhere to it. They will concentrate on sanding the hull. They've got most of the blisters ground out of the hull now, letting them dry out. There's some more to be ground out, which they can do as they're going along but then it'll be soft padded down with probably 180 to 220 to get a good mechanical adhesion where, so the paint will adhere to the paint that's already been there because it is our polyurethane going over an existing polyurethane that's been on there for a few years so it should be good and stable and our paint will adhere to it very well. They'll do some spot priming where the blisters have been paired in and things like that but they're not going to prime the whole hull, they'll basically just do a mechanical abrasion of it and then apply our paint over the top of it. Basically, it's got it's a good high solids polyurethane, so there's a lot of pigment to it, a lot of hiding capabilities. It'll probably be a tack coat and a wet coat. It should lay down really well depending on the weather conditions, but I don't think we'll have a problem with covering it because it's basically white over white, and the areas that have been ground down and filled are going to be spot prime, so they'll be white also. So it should be a pretty easy transition from our paint to primer to the existing polyurethane that's there now. So in the old days you couldn't do that, could you? Um, not really. It, they wanted to prime everything because a lot of the paints that they had at the time didn't have much, uh, well they didn't have any any covering capabilities. They were a lot less favorable as far as covering with, unless you had primer down first. And if you had a dark spot in it, you'd have to go over it three or four times with the older paint to get it to cover the dark spot. Now the paints have a really good hiding capability plus a lot more gloss so it doesn't require as many coats for gloss or for covering actually. So it's, it's a lot more favorable now than it was 20 years ago, 30 years ago when they first started with polyurethane. <music>